trying this again. My mic was off. These are Kang Star Peach Starkus. Pretty cool looking peppers. None of them are really ripe yet, though. Down here we got these are uh, King Star Lemon Stardust, Starburst, King Star Lemon Starburst. There's lots of pods here. It should be hopefully ripening up soon. This is one of my jalapeno plants. I already picked a lot off of this and made, started to make some sauces. Used them in lots of salsas and nachos this summer. Gotta grow these. Up here we have, this is my super chilies plant. Or there's probably, I think there's four plants in here in this little, one little basket. Probably will make all this into powder. Nice pepper. This is one of my cayenne buckets. The slugs really tore through these this year. These are, <laughs> shit, that's, those are a couple, I think avocado plants growing. And some dill in there. Got some dill in here. Over here we have another peach starkest. Two plants in the sky. Down back there, that's one of my sweet pepper plants. You can barely see them From over there. That's uh, those are that's a Cuban owl. Let's get a better look at these. These are real, these are nice, nice sweet pepper. We have one more sweet pepper plant I grow. There's another, there's a really ripe one. They turn a nice red like this. They're ripe. We've gone, we've eaten probably, I don't know, 20 of these off this plant so far this year. Back here, we got, can't really see, but these are, this is a Costa Rican sweet. I grow these guys every year. I love these ones. The kids love them as well. And here we got, this is another lemon starburst. This is one, I got these seeds from someone, I don't know, in the Peppers Lover community. This one's a little overripe back here. That's a very white. Probably make a nice fermented sauce with a bunch of these when I have a bunch of ripe ones. Here we got my one and only weary weary plant. A nice spicy fruity pepper. This is, I don't know what this is. Let's see what this is. Hmm. I have no idea what that is. Is there a tag? There's not even a tag in there. This might be my other, this might be a purple habanero. I'm not sure. And over here we got, this is another KSL, KSLS. One little right guy down there. Okay, then I got two, let's back off of this, two, um, what are these again? Well, these are Sugar Rush Cream, two Sugar Rush Cream right in a row, right next to each other. Very sweet, not too hot, great pepper, very good eating. And this is... 
Yeah, I wonder what these are. These are not... This is not a purple hat. I have no idea what pepper this is. I don't even know what it... It's got a decent sized calyx. I don't know. Maybe another sugar rush cream. Alright, so right here... These are the purple habs that I got from Jim Kingman. Haven't tried one of these yet. Okay, this is another. It says purple hab. I don't know what they are. We'll see when time, what time they once they start to ripen. Look, I don't know. Okay, now we got two plants of Mad Hatters. Mad Hatter 1, Mad Hatter 2. Stop focusing. sweet pepper and this is uh, well he's kind of got overripe but it's a Vienna Vienna Malata Vienna Malata I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that they start off purple like this and then they go to like an orange-ish like this they're really nice at this stage they're really good purple too and then they're turned red you know kind of like that. Okay, so this is one of the plants I wintered over from last year. This is my jalapeno plant. One of them. Another one of my jalapeno plants. Turn it around so you can kind of see where the pods look like. I've picked a lot of pods off this plant. Plus, a lot got eaten by this. The, um, um, slugs. Tons of corking on these ones. Should get a quite a more a few more pots too before the end of the season up here. Probably gonna winter this guy over again. It seems like it jalapenos did way better after one a year of growth on the plant. Okay down here this is these are my hot Portugal. One ripe guy. Oh god, he's overripe. I'm gonna have to take that guy off and dry him. These make the, in my mind, best crushed red pepper for Italian cooking. This is another one of my cayenne plants. Quite a few pods on there. Cayenne's going to my traditional everyday style hot sauce. Got a few on here. And this is, I don't know, if anyone knows what kind of pepper this is, let me know. This just came up, it's a sweet red. I'm not sure if it's like some cross between something, but it just appeared in the plot and I was like, well, we'll let it grow and see what it turns out to be. back up that this behemoth right here that is my well it was labeled apocalypse scorpion but it doesn't quite look like one to me but we got i mean they're they're going they're just there's so many pods they're just gonna i can't do it to use all these no way there's this plant is ridiculously loaded with pods. Just look over there, see if I can see on this. This thing is, I mean, it's one plant. And that's just half of the side of it. Really cool looking pods. Like this guy, that's quite the uh, stinger right there. And sharp, here's one. There's a good looking one too. Look at that guy. Oh, I like this guy right here. Look at that guy. Damn, these are some seriously hot peppers. Look, look I mean, it's just loaded. 
Here's another sugar rush cream. I think there's two or there's two plants in here. This is like quite a quite a big. There's gonna be a lot of peppers on there. Maybe 50 or so. Okay, here we got another. These are some other scorpions. Not sure what kind these are. They look sick. That thing is nasty looking. There's a whole bunch, and there's three plants in this little bucket, and we got quite a few pods on there. Okay, on to the other row of plants. Here we got another. This kid is in our case, King Star, Lemon Starburst. Really, some of, some of them got some nice little stingers on there. We gotta harvest these guys. That's a good looking one right there. Okay, right here's my orange habanero. I just picked a bunch of these and made some uh, uh, relish. Okay, these next two. You know, I got these in a trade. They said they were Komodos. Komodo dragon or whatever they call them. Um, looks a lot like a scorpion to me. If I had a bet. So this plant and this plant right here were in the same seed packet and germinated the same way. And these are, I don't know. I haven't tried one yet. They're almost ripe. Once that turns all red, I'm gonna try one. See how hot they actually are. And here we got another jalapeno. Okay, now we move on to the, uh, these are my red habaneros. We got two, these are, um, I'm not sure what type they are, they're really large. That's a pretty big pod for a habanero. Um, they're really not that hot, like for habanero heat. But we got a lot here. I'm gonna be making an extra hot buffalo wing sauce with these. And I don't know what else, there's a lot. There is a lot of them. Okay, this is another, um, it's another King Star. I'm not sure if these are, well, that's, that's a nice looking one right there. Let's see if I can get that one on the camera. I'm not sure if these are peach. Yeah, these are another peach. I don't, you know, I tried the peach. I didn't like them as much as the lemon starburst, but this won't grow as many next year. I'll grow other peppers. Okay, and this is my, <sighs> these are, let me try to think what these are. They're red hab, but um, they're either, I don't think they're Caribbean red hab. I think they're, um, I'd have to look it up. I don't remember the name of them. Red, red, Sabina's? Sabina Habanero, something like that. Okay, right here we have, these are cherry peppers. I already picked all the ripe ones and made, um, I mean, I just pickled them. Pickled them for chicken rigs. Okay, now to the overflow bed. Okay, this is my overflow bed. It's massively overgrown. Lots of the peppers are getting leggy. Um, these look like super chilies possibly from last year. I don't know what they are. I thought you couldn't. I thought super chilies were a uh, I just, I don't know, for some reason I thought you couldn't 
and couldn't um, take them from seed and grow them. And down here we have, these are um, some kind of longer cayennes. They're not like my other ones. Um, I got some from Groupie last year. I think those are these. That's not bad. These are just overflow. Okay, down here is a... Got some more cayenne, but then we got another Yene, Yene Malaga. They're just these purple pods are just so so cool, man. What else is in here? Oh, we got I don't know. Looks like some kind of sweet pod, maybe a Cuban Owl, maybe a Costa Rican sweet. Oh, here's some more Mad Hatters in here that are growing. That's oh, a, a leggy, leggy, chill, uh, very leggy uh, cherry pepper. And Milanas, Mad Hatters. What else is in there? I think there's a Chinens in there somewhere. I'm not sure what kind it was. Oh, it's just, just, it's right here. It's just starting to get uh, flowers probably won't get any pods or at least ripe pods this year okay over here in the carrots we have that is a it's not a banana pepper oh it's a Hungarian hot is what this is I would have liked to get some more oh <laughs> Oh, we never like seeing that. That is just, I mean, you get like two pot peppers on one plant and one of them is dead because some chipmunk or something. Bastard. Then over here, this is, I think these are last pepper plants. So we got, these are another Costa Rican sweets. And back here, it's like this, I think they're all Costa Rican sweets in the middle of these onions. I had one more, one more little overflow plant in there, in here, right down in, oh, get in here, the last overflow plant, he's in my tomato garden, this is uh, another Costa Rican sweet, he's only got like two or three pods on it, but that's cool, you can roll with it, right? There's another one back there behind the dead zucchini. Um, I'm not sure if there's any pods on it though. Looks like there might be a little one. We'll see, see if it gets any fruit. <laughs> 